Howdy, 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 everyone. I am Gomer, and uh, this is the inaugural episode of uh, what I'm. I'm gonna have this be mostly a solo podcast, just so I can have more material going out there over the long periods of time. But uh, this is just me talking about just different shit throughout throughout the week or what have you. And yeah, if this goes up on YouTube. That's automatically gonna be demonetized. Not that it's monetized anyway, but that's okay. <laughs> Uh, if you are new here, yes, hi, I am Gomer, like I just mentioned. I've been doing online content creation, podcast videos and such, on and off since 2010. I've taken a very, very slow process of getting things um, <laughs> just back up to where I can do this kind of stuff. Um, and this, like I said, I want this to be mostly a solo podcast, that way I can get more material out there to everybody out there, and so... I don't have a Patreon that looks like I'm just fleecing people for, like, dollars. And they, and we all know I'm not intending on doing that. They're very understanding, and I very much appreciate them for sticking it out. But, um, but yeah, it's like I've been kind of holding myself back for things here and there. Um, so a uh, little bit about me. Currently live in Illinois, uh, right outside of Chicago. Uh, I moved here about a year and a half ago, I think. Um, and that's that's when, like, all the other production stuff kind of took a nosedive for a bit. But, you know, I'm th I think I'm in a place where I can start doing things like this on the regular, or at least semi-regularly. Um, the good thing about this particular podcast is I can do this no matter where I am. Uh, I don't have to worry about uh, getting other people involved or what have you, except perhaps an editor uh, when I need and can afford one. <laughs> um... Oh, so, uh, with that said, uh, what I do during the week is I drive a truck, which doesn't leave a lot of free time here at the apartment, unfortunately. But, you know, we, we, you know, we manage. I'm also on another podcast called Random A, a show that discusses anime randomly, uh, along with my friend Rosen Thorne, um, uh, Eli the Cartoon Hero. Oh, no, the Hero of Tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm going backwards. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's how long I've known... That's how long I've known these people. Um, uh, our, our friend uh, Ethan Ontarioku and his partner Emmett. Uh, and then, of course, there are me and two of my partners, uh, Becky, who is, who is my absolute lovely girlfriend, and Tifa, who doesn't have the girlfriend label, but she is considered a partner. So for all intents and purposes, you know, it's not fully romantic partner, but... It's it's is something there. There is something more than just friendship there, and, and it's it's all good. And, and yes, <laughs> um, but yeah, and, and of course, Becky is on a uh, One Piece podcast with Rosen, uh, tracing the Grand Line. If you want to go listen to that on your podcatchers, and I want to say Tifa is no, she is working on starting another podcast with. Uh, a couple of her other partners in a different polycule, <laughs> so that's that's uh, it's all well and good. Uh, we're just we're just a big podcasting family here. Um, so yeah, uh, in terms of I mentioned I mentioned an editor editor earlier. This episode is not edited at all, except for maybe like major issues that I have to cut out. Like if like say if somebody decides to walk through the apartment and fire off a gun and scare the shit out of everybody. Yeah, I think that's going to get edited out. Um I'll tell you about it, but the actual thing will be edited out. Um <laughs> So, that that's a whole thing in and of itself. Um and yeah, as as you may have surmised when I talked about random, I am polyamorous. Uh, I do have uh five partners, uh one of which is only one of whom is an actual romantic girlfriend level partner, for lack of a better term. Uh, partner I just use mostly for a catch-all to mean uh, in this molecule, they, you know, there is more than just friendship and not necessarily quite full-on romantic. It, it, it's between best friend and uh, romantic partner, if, if that makes any sense. Um, and, and it's been this way for almost a year. So, you know, and I've not really, you know, nobody's objected to it. Nobody said, hey, no, no, no. So, you know. And and I've and I've talked and verified so, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I would I do want to try and find time to get to streaming again because I have all of these games just on my Nintendo Switch alone that I could stream and have some fun with. But I've got to take a few extra steps to make sure that becomes a thing. 
Um, but, you know, baby steps, baby steps. And, of course, I'll keep you guys informed every step of the way. Um, so uh, to, to uh, bring this inaugural episode of the Coffee Pub Diaries is what I'm calling it. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna read a Reddit post now. I just all I did was went in and blind, that kind of blindly uh, screen capped it from Reddit, so I don't have to worry about it getting deleted or anything before it goes up. And who knows if you hear it here, you may hear it on some other Reddit podcasts as well, or they may already have done so because I think the post is. I think I saw it be like six hours. I want to say six hours, but that's not it. Made up maybe six days, six days, six hours. Who knows? One of them may have already gotten to it. You may hear them on other podcasts in a week or two, but. You know, you can hear them here too, because we all have different opinions on the things, even slightly, and it's good to have more than one perspective on things, uh, which is why if you remember back in the older reviewer days when video reviewers were more more like just a dime a dozen, uh, reviewer dibs was just kind of a joke, like, ha, 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 but it's not really a thing, and some people took it way too seriously, so yeah. At any rate, um, here's this here's this Reddit post I found. Again, I just went and looked and kind of blindly went through it, so I don't know what's about to happen in this. So you're going to get like a an actual honest to goodness reaction as I go through this. Um, so, am I the asshole for not helping for not helping my stepdaughter with her child? Most most probably. Let's let's see what you got to say. So I've been married to my husband for three years. I have a 22-year-old daughter from a previous marriage, but she moved out and my husband has a daughter too who's 19 years old. Let's call her Juliet, and she also has a child. She got pregnant when she was 17, and her child is now two years old. She used to live with her mother in a different state when she was in high school, but now moved to our state for university. All right. Now, this is a problem because her mother won't move with her and the Juli- and the and the Juliet, that's how it's written, will have to attend university now that she, now this child cannot be left alone while she is attending her stuff and also studying. My husband said he'll rent her a place on his part, but during mornings and afternoons, I babysit the child, and when Juliet finishes her classes, she'll pass by and take the kid. I said, no, I am not in the mental state to handle a child. Which, okay, you know what? Fair. 100% fair if you are not in the mental state to handle a child. Um... And, and in fairness, this is not like somebody, you know, it's not like this what, this particular poster is like, oh, hey, I, I, I pushed out, you know, and all of that. It's literally your stepdaughter, with, you know, you, you're not up for babysitting duty, which is valid in and of itself. How you go about it might be a whole different story. Um, let's see. I work from home, but mostly as I own a business that – but mostly – I work but from home mostly. I rented this tongue, apparently. (laughs) Uh, I work but from home mostly as I own a business that I organize and might go to the company two days a week or something so my life could be described as peaceful, as the quote-unquote peaceful life. As I am my own boss and despite having commitments, I am mostly in control, but I didn't achieve that for free. I worked my ass off in the past just to achieve this life. Having to take care of a child will disturb all of that, and I know better how draining children are. As much as I love my daughter, I went through hell back then. Now, I do not regret having my daughter, but back then I was young and wanted to have her, but I am not going to overlook the disastrous aspects of being around children, and I really don't want to relive that again because my stepdaughter, Juliet, decided to have unprotected sex, yet wants to live her life while I get to handle her problems so she would shine. Oh. This is this is where I'm starting to get from okay valid but to um you you you're coming off with the I I I don't know if it's widely called that but it probably might be I don't know with the uh, boomer mentality like fuck you I got mine kind of thing that's what I'm getting so far just just from that third par yeah third paragraph like ooh, like I I busted my ass and I did all this and. What, did you have nobody helping you? Really? I mean, I mean, it's basically, you know, again, she works from home most of the time. She goes to the company maybe two days out of a week, out of the week. And, you know, you, you, you've got, you've got time and you could, you can work out other things too. Uh, my husband goes to work, so he can't handle the child and asked me to do it because I don't go outside all the times. But I told him, no, not my problem. This won't be good for me or the child. 
He proceeded to call me selfish, which you are, let's be fair, let's be fair, and told me what if it was your daughter? I simply told him that asking me this puts him in a bad light because, yes, I will handle my daughter's problems because I am her parent. He is Juliet's parent, yet he is deflecting the responsibility on me. You have the time to co-parent with your husband. You know, you, you can do this. That, that is okay. That, that's, what, that's part of the job description here, ma'am. Uh, let's see. I never throw my daughter's problem. Oh, uh, oh, I skipped down a bit. Uh, he is Juliet's parent. Let's see. Okay. Her mother, too, is getting herself out of the picture. I never throw my daughter's problems on him. Uh, the mother probably could not relocate to where you guys are for one reason or another. We don't, you know, I don't think it's stated. It hasn't been stated at least thus far. Thus, thus far. Thus far. In this particular post saying, you know, what does the baby mama do? We don't know. Uh, well, I say baby mama. Uh, the, the, the bio mom of, you know, Juliet's bio mom. We don't know what she does. She, she could have a, a job where she's also working her ass off. But Juliet is also going to school. She's going to that college. And hey, make, maybe, you know, you know, her dad is like, hey, you know what? Stay with us. It's convenient, you know? Because he wants the daughter, he wants his daughter to succeed. And what should parents do if they want their children to succeed? Help them whenever they need it. Don't just outright abandon them. And that's and that's what the father is trying to do. At the very least, saying, "Hey, you know what? You can stay with us. Uh, one of us can, like, you know, you know, help take care of the child while you're off doing taking care of classes, which you know is more than a lot of single mothers end up having. Let's be real. Uh, at least." As far as my experience goes. Uh, I also told him he could get her a nanny or put the kid in one of those nurseries, but he refused, saying that's too much money when he is already paying her rent and tuition. Yesterday, I straight told him that he and her mother should try to solve this situation and leave me out of the equation because I am not going to help and that Juliet is not an orphan. She has both her parents living. Them three should solve this out without trying to drop the whole thing on me and they live their lives to the fullest. Okay, 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 okay. That that's that's the end of it, and and that's that's the end of that particular one. And just, ma'am, you're being asked to babysit for maybe four or five hours out of a day, in which you don't have a lot to do. You are basically you're basically being one of those those, those step parents that nobody likes. That says, oh, is that my problem? Uh, your husband is, is she is your husband's daughter. It very much is your problem at this point, and and you put it off like, oh, they're just living their fancy life. Bitch, they're working. I'm assuming the the bio mother is working too. They are working. They are not able to be there for one reason or another. Whether it's because the mother, the bio mother, couldn't pre presumably couldn't move out of the state. I'm imagining, and or the mother is just too fucking busy. To do anything about it, and the father, he's he's working, he's working and helping take care of his own daughter. He is putting in the effort. You're just sitting there like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to give up. I don't want to give up my soap opera time. And that's how. That's a mean way of putting it. But it's like, look, if if anybody in this scenario is abandoning this daughter, you know, shoving her off or or what have you, it's the stepmother, the OP. Like, no, you, you are 100% percent, percent, percent the asshole in this situation, ma'am. I'm sorry. I just, mm -mm. like, yeah, you don't want, you don't want to deal with kids or, or, or babies or whatever, but it's like, you know what? Sometimes you don't always get what you want. You know, you should be stepping up because this is your husband's daughter. If nothing else, then to help your husband out. Maybe you don't give a shit about the daughter or the child, but you know what? At the very least, you could help out your husband. Fucking hell. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll do more of those because cause they're, kind of, they're kind of neat to go through on my own. Um, uh, definitely we'll keep doing them blind, that's for sure, if I, if I keep going down this route. Um I don't know. I might I might do Reddit stories with like uh, others in other podcasts that I'm planning. Um but yeah, that just fuck that lady. Fuck her. 
Like, no. No. There, there, there is a time, yes, sure, you, 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 don't, you know, yeah, your, your, your own daughter is off doing her thing and yada, 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 and you've got all of this time, all of this control over your own life, and you're just, you're, you're, your husband's right, you are being a little negatively selfish on this one, because it's like, it's only a few hours each day, and, and just, and just, how much money are you contributing, man? Like, if you're that worried about a nanny, you put the money forward for it. You know, as simple as that. You could pay for a babysitter instead of making your husband cover it all. I mean, he may, I, I, in fact, hold on. Wait, is he, was he able to, uh, too much money. And the husband's already paying the daughter's rent and tuition. So he's already stretching himself out for his daughter. The least you could do, ma'am, if you don't want to directly take care of the, the step-grandson. Uh, da, 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 da. I say step grandson, but if you don't want to take care of your step grandchild, then yeah, you had you had an idea, you know, hire a nanny, or or what have you, and you could pay for it, ma'am. I'm probably talking in circles a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, it, it, if it helps drive the point home that ma'am, this op 100% the asshole, because there are ways you could actually do things. And you don't necessarily have to give up your, your quote-unquote, peaceful life. You clearly have the money to do something about it. And you're just choosing not to because, oh, it's not my problem. Not my problem. No. Not my problem. I'm going to help with it. Me, 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 me. Uh, she probably votes Republican. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... I, I have not looked at any comments on that. In fact, you know what? Let me see if I can... Uh, we're doing this live. Let me see if I can find the original post here. Um, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the only bad thing about this is I actually have to do this live. Okay, let's see. Ah, here it is. All right. Okay, so... Okay, I was, I was incorrect. It was seven hours ago when I was meaning the thing. Um, let's see. Looking at some of the comments... Uh, let's see. Somebody said, not the asshole. Uh, your husband's paying your tuition, room, and board. Where is the baby's father? Um, and the OP responds, I'm not aware of the full details. He's either still 17 or just turned 18. But yeah, he can't do anything. He didn't even move with her. Uh, parents aren't doing anything either. Oh, uh, baby daddy's parents aren't doing anything either. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, not much in that other thread. Uh, wait. Uh, da, 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 just moving on down, moving on down. Jeebus. But, uh, yeah. I just, it's just, let's see. Okay, here's, here's another whole ass new thread. Uh, not the Ansel, not your monkeys, not your circus. Wow, you, you have empathy problems. Um, uh, let's see. Stepdaughter's mom is the asshole. For absolving herself and responsibly because she just because she just because she moved, um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's 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 somebody's calling the stepdaughter's mom. It's like we don't know this. Like so many people saying clear, not the asshole, and it's like I'm just. I'm just kind of mind boggled because there are so many people in this thread saying you are not the asshole, but yet the father is doing everything he can. The mother, we don't know what where her situation is right now, and that somebody did bring up the baby daddy, and it's like okay, um, yeah, sure, get him, try and get a hold of him and get him in the picture again, Un unless the, the unless the daughter unless Juliet doesn't want anything to do with the guy and if that's the case then you know what shouldn't have to force it um but yeah i think honestly i think yeah all these people saying oh you're not the asshole for it. it's like really really i mean it's like just because she doesn't want to give up part of her day or even part of her paycheck there are other options and who knows what what wasn't stated i don't i don't think was stated was were all the other options um, taken out? Like, like were they already 
seen through. Like, did they try to do the, this, or that, or the other? That's not what's. That's something I didn't see uh, uh, noted in there. Um, so yeah, it's like yeah. As far as I'm concerned, the lady is a bit of an asshole about it because it's like you're in the same household. You're just being asked to 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 pitch in a little bit as as your husband's wife. Like that's that's all there is to it. You know, you're free to you're free to not to. You you know, that is one hundred percent fine. But you're still gonna look like a heartless asshole because now that now this Juliet is gonna look at you and be like, Oh, she clearly doesn't like me. She don't give a shit about me. Because well, why should I give my give a shit about her? She's somebody else's child. Well, um you should because she's somebody important to your husband. It's as simple as that. So yeah, if you're in that situation, my advice, as as much of advice I, I can give about it, um, if you can afford to pitch in, do so, you know? Your husband's already doing enough. We don't know what the boyfriend or the mother are doing, but it's clear that your help is needed. Pitch in. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's not going to hurt you. Even if all you can do is just pay for a babysitter or a nanny or something, that's fine. I think I think that would be an okay thing. Uh, well, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me? Disagree with me? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, so yeah, the way the way this is going to go up, I will probably put them up. Um, I'm going to try and stagger these out like over weeks or what have you. That way, there'll be some. I might record multiple in a week with varying uh, mic quality because sometimes I may record while I'm in the truck. Uh, who knows? Um, I don't know if they're going to be this much rambling all in one big super chunk, but at the very least, uh, there'll be enough for, you know, for an episode here and there. Um, but if you're, if you're a subscriber to me on Patreon, uh, $1 a month gets you this and other things that I, that I produce at least a day early before everybody else gets it. And... There's even, it should still be active, an RSS podcast feed. You could just pop in your podcast catcher, and if you're a subscriber, you'll automatically get the new episodes as I get them posted to Patreon. So that's good. <laughs> um, yeah, for right now, everything is, is just kind of there. Don't even have a proper theme song, and, and my phone decided to say hello because I thought I was finished. <laughs> uh, when I am obviously not finished. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, so yeah, again, patreon.com slash gomer one double X. Uh, you can also follow me on all of the social medias, mostly at gomer two one double X. That is Twitter. I refuse to call it by its new name. Uh, blue sky. I'm over there. Uh, and you know, under the same name, you know, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Um, and for this first title card, I do have some assets that I have from, uh, my wonderful girl, wonderful girlfriend Becky Hopkins. Uh, you can find her. I believe it is card. Uh, I know she has a card. Uh, C A R R D. Um, yeah, this is this is how uh, <laughs> this is how haphazard I've put this together. Um, yeah, that I actually have to go in. Uh, yes, it is Becky Hop dot C A R R D dot C O. That is for all of her stuff, you know, her artwork, and and commission and commission her. Give her mo- give her money; she will give you art. <laughs> but um, but yeah, the assets that I use that are not, that aren't just like generic backgrounds or anything, um, that is that's in use on this title card in particular are both done by her. So you could so if you're looking at the title card, um, you get to see two two uh, different styles of her artwork. Um, which, you know, she makes me look pretty good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, and the reason why I called this episode the one, it's a delicate beginnings. Uh, I'm a Dune fan, um, and the beginning is a very delicate time. Uh, let's hope that I handled this as delicately as possible and uh, that you guys come back for the next time. Um, there will be others that will, that will be... Uh, better edited than what I've got this year because, again, what you guys are getting here is just a quick snip off the beginning and end, and this is this is what you're getting. Other ones will probably be edited a little bit more. But, you know, this, this serves just to kind of 
get this out there for you guys and and um, just give you a, give you a taste of what you're in for with this series. Um, but yeah, if you made it to the end, thank you so much for listening. And I will see you next time. Until then, this is Gomer, signing off.